Welcome back to the Crochet Kratos with my friends over at Yarnspirations.com. Today is part three of the Happy Holiday Throw. So today we're going to work on the Lark's Foot Pattern section and we're gonna be doing rows number 23 to 36. Let's go to those instructions now. Okay, so on page number two, this is the pattern and we're going to be doing 23 to 36. Now before you flip out and say, oh my God, it's a half a page. <laughs> it's a little more than half a page. It's been, it's been uh, reduced a little bit because there is a repeat pattern going on here. So don't click off yet. Don't quit on me folks. Don't quit. So we're gonna be doing rows number 23 all the way to 36 for the second time. I don't know why I said that twice. So what we're going to do is then we're gonna proceed through this pattern and I'm gonna leave you off here on row number 28. So row number 29 and 30 is the same thing as 25 and 26. Row number 31 and 32 is the same as 27 and 28. So you can see that 25 to 28 is a repeat. Then on rows number 33 and 34 it's repeating rows number 25 and 26 once again. So you just have to do these three sections right here on your own. And then what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna pick you up on row number 35 and 36 at the end. So I will film all the way to 28. You're gonna do all your fabulous repeating <laughs> and I'll pick you up on 35. So that's our goal for today. So you ready to rock this out? Actually maybe I should read the instructions first. <laughs> I am on a roll today my friends. So we're going to begin and we're starting off with the color A. We're only gonna be using color A, F and C. So let's uh, just chain up one and we're gonna single crochet in the first one. I'm reading the instructions off camera as we do it. And we're also gonna do the next one after that. So the first two have a single crochet. Then it says to chain one and we're going to skip one stitch and then single crochet in the next three. Well that's pretty easy right? So skipping one, single crochet in the next three. And then it says repeat from the asterisk all over again. So the asterisk is then chain one, skip one and then single crochet in the next three. Guess what you're doing all the way across? Mm -hmm. That. So you're gonna uh, just uh, put these three single crochets in, chain one, skip one, one single crochet in the next three. Please do this all the way across. This is row number 23. So I'm getting all the way to the other side and I've just done the three so I'm gonna chain one, skip one, the next one and then the last two are just going to be single crochet. So that means my counts are right. <laughs> I don't even know, you know, I'm having a rough day today so I'm a little more giddy than I, uh, than I should be. Okay, so let's uh, move on now to row number 24. We're gonna keep this color going and go one more time with the cream. <laughs> okay, so let's go number 24. We're gonna chain three which counts as a double crochet and in the very next stitch you're gonna double crochet. So this means that we're gonna grow our bl blanket a little bit taller quicker. So then chain one, you're gonna skip this chain one space and go into the next single crochet and actually join its three friends together. So the next three are going to be holding hands and sitting side by side like that. Then chain one, skip the next chain one space and then put the next grouping of friends together and you're gonna do that all the way across. This is row number 24. Now see at the end of this row we will be changing the color to the color F as in fabulous at the end. So I'm coming up all the way to the end and I have to change my color to the color F as in fabulous. And I'm just gonna just jump over the last space there and then going in. Now interestingly enough I put the color side by side of this color plus then the off white of a tweed. Now technically I wanted to change this to another color but I'm gonna take a risk. It might actually look okay. <laughs> Can you tell I care at this moment? Um, so I'm gonna plus, uh, put this on and pull through and then I'm gonna get rid of the white and then I'll be right back. So let's just uh, flip this over so I can get you started. And then rows number 25 to 28 is gonna be the repeat pattern for the duration of this section until the very last uh, couple rows. So let's start row number 25. You can see I changed the color. I started filming with the other color that I was kind of on the fence about. It didn't look good. <laughs> I'm not very good with color so I just kind of faking it using some robin egg blue that was already down here. So let's uh, just chain up one to begin and we're gonna single crochet in the first two single crochet or the first two stitches. Now we're gonna create the toe of the lark foot and we wanna come down and we're gonna do this as a treble. So when you do this you wanna scoop up underneath this single crochet and then pull through and then pull through two and two and two all the way back up. Okay, so you see how it's grabbing onto that? Like it's a nice clean grab. 
So then you're gonna single crochet in the very next one, chain one to leave a space in this grouping of three. So the first, this one has a space, it's the middle one and then single crochet in the next one after that and larks foot it down. So come down and get the next single crochet, go right around it and then travel all the way back up and then single crochet in the next one last time because you're fabulous today and then skipping one single in the next and lark it down. Okay, so let's do that all the way across row number 25 and I'll see you at the end of this row and you can see it's fun and fabulous today. So I'm coming up to the other side. So I did do a color change here. So I just made a note on my pattern to change this instruction in this particular section. So if I have to come back to it then I know that I did it. You'll see it anyway like if you're changing anything. So you're just gonna lark it right in the third last one from the end and then two single crochets are left at the end to fill in. Okay, so let's uh, turn our work and let's begin row number 26. We're gonna keep this color on. So the colors stay on board for two uh, rows altogether. So let's uh, continue to row number 26. So row number 26, nice and simple. You're gonna chain up three, one, two, and three. And what we have here is you wanna look for these chain one spaces. You're jumping those every time you have those. So you're gonna come to the second one and you're gonna just keep double crocheting until you see a chain one space. It's nice and simple. So you can either count or look for that. So there's a chain one. So chain one to jump it and then single crochet. And once you get that first one established, you know that there's three of these single crochet or three of these stitches in a row and then the jump happens again. So chain one and jump and put three in a row and jump and etc. Do this row number 26 and you'll be changing your color then to the color C when you come back on the other or when you get all the way to the other side. So I'm coming all the way to the other side, row number 26 and I had the last four in a row. So we're now going to change to the color C as in cat and you'll do that on the last one. So just getting your other yarn out, creating your slip knot and etc. Just attach it and get rid of those other yarns and let's turn our work. I, I tend to, I'm tending to do all of the yarn hiding at the end of each section instead of just doing it as I go. You decide what works for you. So let's set to turn our work and begin. So let's turn our work and do row number 27 which is still part of the repeat. So 27, 28 that are left. So this time the lark's foot is going to come in between. So do you see how it comes down here? It'll come down in the middle here. So let's begin 27. So chain up one and you're gonna do one single crochet in the first, um, let me just look here, one single crochet in each of the first two stitches. So we're gonna do the first one and the second and if you really look carefully, see how this one comes down here? The next one hole that you're gonna leave, so you're gonna chain up one and skip, it's directly over top of this one. So then the next foot that will come down will come down at that same spot. If you look at it from this perspective coming down. So now you've single crocheted in the next one, so you skip the middle one and now you're going to lark it that's not even a real term but you're gonna come down for a treble like that and then you're gonna single crochet in the next, chain one, skipping the next which is the middle one. Do you see it? I know it's a hard color to point out on the camera. Hopefully it's gonna be darker by the time I go through editing and then you're gonna lark the next one. So make sure it is a treble so wrap twice. and then single crochet in the next, chain one to leave a spot, skip one and single crochet in the next. So you can see the lark is coming down in between the other one that's existing. Please do this all the way across row number 27. So I'm coming up to the end of number 27 and so I have one more row to do with this color. So each color is two rows, just remember that. So I'm coming to lark down and then I'm single crocheting the next and Remember what I said about these jumping down so it just matches right above. So you're gonna chain one, skip the next one and just single crochet in the last two. And then you're gonna turn your work and then begin row number 28 which will be the end of the repeat. So let's turn our work and begin row number 28. So it's what you already know. You're just looking for those chain one spaces so that you know where to jump. So you're just gonna chain three to begin and in row number 28 you're just gonna double crochet in the next and then the, the spot is right there. So that's the jumper. So you're gonna chain one and then once you skip that one it's all gonna be in sets of three again. 
So you can easily just figure that out. Okay, so you're double crocheting three in a row and then chain one, skip the next one which is this, the jumper and then you're just gonna do the next three and you're gonna do that all the way across. This is row number 28. So we're just gonna turn it around and now we're gonna cycle back then rows number 25 to 28. So 25 comes down, 25 is, see right there, 26 and then 27 comes down and 28. So you're gonna cycle through one more time. Then you're going to do then rows number uh, 25 and 26. So just one more coming in and we're gonna finish off that off as we go. Then I'm gonna join you back here and do rows number 35 and 36 with you. So just to recap, you're going to do rows number 25 to 28 one more time, then rows number 25 to 26 one more time and then meet me back here and we'll start number 35 together with you. So I'm just coming up to the end of row number 34. So you can see if I turn it to the good side where we are in this pattern. Okay, so you can see that there's three of these Lark's foot, do you see that? So I'm at the very last stitch of row number 34 and I need to switch off to the white yarn. So I have got myself in the dilemma. I love this so much I wanna keep on going after this. So I was planning on doing a small swatch. So what I'm going to do from this point forward is I'm just gonna randomize the colors but everywhere where it says to do white I'm gonna keep it white. So let's move on now to row number uh, 35 and then 36 to then finish this week. So row number 35 now continuing with the white we're just gonna chain up one I'm gonna weave in the ends later and I'm going to single crochet in each of these stitches except for the ones that have the space I am going to come down. So the goal for this particular row is to fill in all the spaces with something. So don't create any new spaces so we want a nice solid edge at the end. So I'm just going to just single crochet in the first four like I just did and then I'm gonna jump down and with my treble and going around and gonna lark it. Again it's not a real word it's just easier to, easier to say. So there we go. So now that one's done I immediately jump into the next one and then I keep single crocheting and just jump down when I need to and this is row number 35. So then I'm gonna lark the next one and etc. and I'll see you at the end of this row, row number 35. So I'm coming to the very end and I'm just single crocheting the final that we have and this is row number I, I keep forgetting row number 35 and uh, we're going to just continue in one more row before we then move on to the next part of this series. So turning your work and do the final row number 36 and it's just chain up one and just do one single crochet in each of the stitches all the way across and on the very last stitch I need you to switch over to the color B or whatever color that you're going to do and I will see you there in just a moment. So I've just come up all the way to the end. The last one I am going to just put on a new color. It says call the color B but now I'm starting to fake it a little bit and just changing out what I want and I wanna get myself reset and then I'll see you in the next part and let's just recap quickly on the pattern and we'll continue then next time in the next video. So to recap where we are, we just finished off row number 36. We're now going to start the bobble and uh, stripes in the next video and that'll take us from rows number 37 to 48. Again, it's a nice quick repeat in order to do that. So I'll see you next time as we continue our journey together.